What's up everybody, my name is Frank and welcome to a tutorial on how to set up and utilize a green screen within Adobe Premiere Pro 2018. Now the effect we're going to be using today within Premiere is called the Ultra Key Effect. It's a fantastic effect for removing backgrounds such as these. It can also be used to remove various colors from basically any video, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. But today we're just going to be focusing on the green screen uh, applications of this effect and rolling from there. Now I'm using a traditional uh, curtain green screen, it's just on a, a shower rod basically above my frame. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that across, make sure I get out as many creases and I make the lighting as even as possible across the green screen. Whatever amount of lighting you need to create that color as bright and even as you can, you're going to want to go for it. The better the color, the better the green screen is going to turn out. Now, obviously my green screen is uh, not the most ideal situation. I have a bunch of wrinkles throughout it, uh, but still regardless, I'm able to make it work using the software and I'm still able to get a clean output using the fine tuning that this effect allows. But uh, for the most part, just keep in mind that you're gonna wanna have a clean green screen from the get-go for the best results. So do your best to get that even coloring. That way when you go into post, it's gonna be super easy for you to chroma key this out. Now, speaking of going into post, we're gonna head into Premiere here. We're gonna go new project. You can give it a title, save it wherever you want, etc., etc. We're gonna hit okay and get straight into the sequence here. Now, over here in Premiere Pro, you're going to want to go over to your media bin, hit Control i import the footage that you recorded on your green background. You want to drag that straight into the timeline, and now you have your footage. Now, this is where things get interesting. So, you're going to want to go ahead, uh, select the footage, select the clip, and then in the effects panel, you want to search for Ultra Key. Drag that on there, nice and easy. Now, when you scroll down to your effect controls here, you have the Ultra Key effect. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to Key color you want to choose the little eyedropper here now using the eyedropper tool here you want to select a pretty standard color of green from your green screen whatever is kind of in between the lights and the darkest points of your green screen you want to select somewhere in the middle I'm gonna go ahead and choose right here uh, to hopefully give myself an even balance now as you can see it has already been chroma keyed now obviously there's some adjustments we're gonna have to make here but if I take a second to mess around with these dials remove some of the highlights uh, remove some of the dark shadows there uh, we'll go ahead we'll keep the tolerance the same pedestal uh, we'll keep it around the same too now we have a pretty clean image here but as you can see we still have a couple of corners from where my green screen doesn't quite reach so in order to fix that in order to crop those out to get a nice clean transparent background what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to opacity here I'm gonna choose the pen tool and I'm simply going to create a mask around this shape. That way, it is just me and the background, and there are no rough edges off to the side. Um, so this will hopefully give you a pr pretty much a clean chroma key. Obviously, as I said earlier, you're going to have to mess around in order to get the right effect with your specific screen. Uh, but after some tempering, after some adjustments, after some experimentation, you should be able to find a perfect balance uh, between having the chroma key and keeping your subject intact. One more thing about this effect is the output settings. If you go down and you select alpha channel, this actually allows you to see a silhouette of what you're masking, of what you're chroma keying. So now you have a very clear visual of any possible possible artifacts that might be showing up in places where you don't want them to be. So if you have an abundance of white uh, in the transparent areas, then you know you have to adjust your settings a little more in order to dial those down. And it allows you to very easily see and identify where you have uh, holes or mistakes in your mask. With that being said though, you are good to go when it comes to this chroma key. You can easily slide in any image, video, graphic, whatever you may be behind your subject and uh, you'll be good to go in that department. I also recommend as a side tip, adding a little bit of a drop shadow uh, to your subject that will give you a little bit more depth and obviously there's a bunch of different things color correction wise you can do to make your subject match the background a little more and not seem so out of place but that's for a different tutorial but with that being said uh thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one peace